Ateca is the name of Seat's first SUV in the market. This car should compete with cars like the Nissan Qashqai, the Ford Cougar or maybe the Volkswagen Tiguan. If this is a real competitor, let's find out. The visual styling of the Seat Ateca borrows significantly from the design of the highly successful Leon. Looking at the front, you can immediately recognize the trapezoidal grille and optional full LED headlights. The lines of the Ateca show the same precise lines of the Leon. Use of light and shade combined with the lines to create a visual reduction of the height. Together with the up to 19 inch wheels, this makes the Ateca appear longer and highly dynamic. The rear is dominated by the highly placed rear lights, which extend into the sides of the vehicle and form a distinct edge above the license plate. In the interior, the link between the Ateca and the Leon continues. The Ateca also features the same high quality infotainment, connectivity and interior design standards as the Leon. The available space of Seat's 4.36 meter long SUV is more than adequate. This applies to all rows of seating and the impressive load space in the back of the Ateca. Even though the Ateca is a so-called compact SUV, it doesn't mean that the boot is small. This one here features up to 510 liters with the seats up. If you flap them down, it increases to 1,604 liters. That's more than enough space for nearly everything. Even a mountain bike would fit in here easily. The sporty impression of the Ateca also applies to its drive. Our test car is well powered with its 190 horsepower diesel engine. There is no ride discomfort at all, even at higher speeds. This is due to a very well-tuned chassis and direct steering. In total, Seat offers five different engine options for the Ateca, a 1.6-litre TDI with 115 horsepower and a 2-litre TDI in two power levels at 150 or 190 horsepower. There's also a 1-litre TSI with 115 horsepower and a 1.4-litre TSI with cylinder deactivation and 150 horsepower. The two 150 horsepower engines are available with DSG or four-wheel drive. The 190 horsepower TDI comes standard with DSG and all-wheel drive. The Seat Ateca should drive on-road and off-road perfectly. And we want to try this. And for that, Seat builds a complete track in the middle of the city of Barcelona just for us to try the new Ateca's off-road capabilities. As an SUV, the Ateca feels good off the road as well. This is particularly true for the all-wheel versions. But you have to remember, in spite of more ground clearance, this is not an extreme off-roader. But our excursions gave us a pretty solid impression. The range of driver assistance and safety systems offered is more than just standard. It ranges from traffic sign recognition to a parking steering assistant, to name just a couple. The Seat Ateca is compact but offers loads of space and with the optional all-wheel drive it takes you to places like this. This must be one of the reasons why in Germany alone already 5,000 people ordered an Ateca, even though none of them ever saw one at their dealership.